that. So let's talk about uh, rapid testing and exploratory testing. So t t tell me a little bit about your work on, on that side of, uh, okay. of the world. So uh, about eight years ago, James Bach came to Newbridge mm -hmm. and taught, uh, oh, 10 years ago now, it's about 10 years ago, James <laughs> came to, to Newbridge and he taught ra the rapid software testing course. Mm -hmm. uh, found it very interesting. I learned an awful lot from it. Uh, when I switched to the DSL group, I, uh, after I did the automation side, because um, I was focused on my automation experience then, when I became, as soon as that finished, I became the manager of the manual test, mm -hmm. the, uh, the modem test team, the physical air test team. Mm -hmm. And I started to implement some of the ideas that James had, had, taught, mm -hmm. uh, had taught me. So moving away from pre-scripted tests, moving more to exploratory testing, documenting mm -hmm. the tests as you execute them instead of before you execute mm -hmm. them, uh, using session-based test management, mm -hmm. all of that type of stuff I implemented on my team. Uh, and that was probably starting about five years ago. We started doing that. Uh, sorry, four years ago. It was in, uh, the, in uh, the early part of 2008 that, that we really started doing this. So uh, over the, the next two years, we really refined how we were implementing it. And it, first, it started out that, because James Bach and John Bach both are proponents of an hour and a half mm -hmm. is a session. That's mm -hmm. how long your session should be. They had psychological studies mm -hmm. of that's how long people can really focus. And if it goes longer than that, then it's not really going to be uh, able to be effective for the, the tester to be able to focus on it. But what I found in our context was that the sessions were too short. Our, our gear is too complicated. Complicated, yeah. Uh, and every single session was ending up being a long session because the testers couldn't get through the, the actual charter. Right in the amount of time given. Right. So after trying for probably, I don't know, six months, uh, maybe even eight months of trying to have them do it in a in one a, a, in a, a half one and a half session, hours, yeah. I finally said, okay, this isn't working. Let's just try, you do one session in the morning and you do one session in the afternoon. You do two sessions a day, that's all. You have all morning to do your first session. You have all afternoon to your second session. The guys thought they'd give that a try. It worked great. It worked really well. Probably about two months later, I saw Michael Bolton, uh, also teaches rapid software testing, and I felt guilty explaining to him mm -hmm. that I had cheated on the session and I'd gone to a half day, and, and I finally said, okay, so you know we've done this, but I've gone to a half day session, and I, you know, I felt kind of bad telling him, and his response to me was really empowering because he said, that is great mm -hmm. because you've taken the concept and you've adapted it so that it works for you a different context. Yeah. into a different context mm -hmm. and that's really the whole concept of rapid software testing which is why I'm really glad that I'm getting to teach it now mm -hmm. so that's what I'm doing now is I teach rapid software testing for James mm -hmm. and I'm really glad that I get to do that because the course itself is essentially teaching you a whole bunch of techniques and tools mm -hmm. uh, that you can use for your reporting for your actual testing uh, for uh, the documentation you need to do, for how to think of tests, all right. of this stuff, and you get to apply the parts that make sense. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't fully make sense, you're empowered to say, well, that doesn't make sense the way you taught it, mm -hmm. but I like the idea of it, so I'm going to modify it so that mm -hmm. it, I can actually use it, like I did with the right. making the sessions longer. Right. And uh, I came up with a different way of, of monitoring the sessions in the session-based uh, test management, what I do is I use like an agile whiteboard, mm -hmm. uh, slightly different, uh, and each sticky note is a half day of testing. So instead mm -hmm. of being a story, mm -hmm. I put a sticky note on my board for a half day of testing. So on the whiteboard, I have the number of stickies that are on the to be done. Mm -hmm. I can count them up. Mm -hmm. I have found that you get about seven and a half, on average, seven and a half sessions per tester due to meetings and health, um, sick days and vacation. Mm -hmm. So an average of seven and a half uh, sessions per person per week. And I can count it up and I know roughly how many person weeks of, of testing I have left. Mm -hmm. I also know that uh, as long as I get the core set of tests done, which I put up at the top as the highest priority, once I get through that core set, anything else I do, is 
gravy. Mm -hmm. And so when the product manager, project manager comes to me and he says, when are you going to be done? I say, well, when do you need me to be done? Well, I need you to be done by next Friday. I'll be done by next Friday. And he right. looks at the board and he says, you're never going to be done all that by next Friday. He says, no, but I'll be about here. And he says, what about the rest? I said, they're the lowest priority tests. Right. I'm prioritizing with the product manager and they're the lowest priority tests. Right. We can always think of more tests. Right, right. If the, if the whiteboard ever becomes empty, right. the team has failed because they've stopped thinking of new ideas. Right. Every time they think uh, of a new idea, we put it on the board, it gets prioritized. Mm -hmm. So it's always, when are you done? We're done when we run out of time.